Something else, because of this missing JJ business, you know, his grandparents called in a welfare check. And Detective David Stubbs went on that welfare check, and today he was on the stand to describe that body cam video and Lori's, the lying liar that told the lies. Yeah, what else can I say? He describes it, and it is just, I mean, it gets to the point where the detective himself says the police were afraid for their safety. That's the point we've reached here. Have a listen. When we addressed um, Chad Daybell, she referred to Chad as her brother's friend. However, at this time, number one, I had seen the two of them affectionate together in the parking lot of Hobby Lobby. Number two, at this time, we also knew that they had previously been married. I had concern um, because of what had previously been told to me by other officers about officer safety. Not only um, were we dealing with a situation where there, one of these individuals possibly was involved in attempted shooting in Arizona, um, was one of our concerns that for officer safety. And number two, uh, statements made to us that uh, the individuals um, were being evasive and, and lying. Well, one of the other odd things that I, I felt at that time, um, Lori said that her brother was, was there. And uh, I found it odd that um, where he had been talked to just minutes earlier that he wouldn't come down and, or if he was there, engage in this, in, in this conversation. But my attention was drawn because at the top of the stairs, I could, uh, I could see movement, um, whether there was a window or a light that was reflecting. And I could see movement as it uh, moved back and forth off the reflection of a wall. And at that time, I was, I was concerned for safety if someone was to come down and try and surprise us. Alex and Lauren, is this safe to say, as far as the jury's concerned, this was a very bad day for Lori? Yeah, it certainly wasn't a good one. Obviously, the witnesses that were called today were to do exactly what you're saying, point out lies, consistent lies, and it really showed on Lori's face as well. Yeah, I don't know about you, Ashley. I, we've completely lost track of the lies. She, she hardly knew Chad Daybell. They were married. Uh, Alex was nowhere to be found. She hardly, you know, she didn't have his number. The lies just continued and continued into the afternoon, all through court. Jurors don't like that. Alex Capriella and Lauren Mathias, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.